I'm a dad, and I'm gonna try out some weird parenting games. Hello, everybody! I'm Kindly Kid, and as you guys probably already know, I am a parent in real life. And I gotta be real with you, parenting is already pretty weird. But you know where it's even weirder? in mobile games. And so we're gonna be trying some weird parenting mobile games. This one's called Virtual Angry Dad Simulator. I don't know, man. This is level one. Let's, he's got, he's like a scientist. Does he have like a Dexter's Laboratory thing going on in his basement? What, what is this? Look at that hair. He's like, he's got like Sonic the Hedgehog hair. But if Sonic the Hedgehog was was bald. Okay. 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 He's gonna cheer her up, I guess. Right? Makes perfect sense. She dropped her ice cream. He made her a a balloon dog. I don't I don't know about you guys, but but this this kid is freaking me out. Why does she, I don't know. Something about her face is freaking me out. Also, that was... Why? Why? I... I okay. The, the implication here is that this is her dad. Because the name of the game is Angry Dad. Dude, you're talking? There's... There's voices in this game? Okay, this is wild. I was not expecting this. Okay. Dad reads his newspaper in a locked room to be safe of kids' pranks. But he always takes a shower after reading newspaper. Let's add hair color in his shampoo and prank Dad. Dude, if we gave him blue hair, he'd straight up be bald Sonic. I feel like, if anything, we're, we're improving his looks. But either way, like, bro just went up to his kid made her a balloon animal because she she dropped her ice cream was bawling her eyes out and then popped the balloon animal top-notch parenting right there great okay th this must be like our tutorial okay, yeah i thanks yep i i know how to control basic mobile games thank you though for yeah okay there's hints find the hair color cream what color are we going with I don't get to choose. It's it looks like it's pink, and then then we'll we'll just head to the bathroom. Dude, what is going on with this house? This is freaking me out. I don't understand. Oh oh oh, that's his shampoo. Okay, so we're swapping the shampoo with maybe green. Let's take a shower to annoy the kids. This is what I do. <laughs> What is happening? Alright, alright. I'm relatively impressed with, like, the fact that there's voices and cutscenes. I'm definitely getting, uh, scary teacher vibes. Of course. That is, that, that seems like an ideal kind of series of, of steps that you're taking there. Dad is working out right now on treadmill. You need to find the ketchup bottle and pour ketchup in his drink. Gross. We're gonna make him vomit. Almost certainly. Okay, ketchup. Ketchup must be in the kitchen, right? That would make sense. Is this the kitchen? I don't know what this, okay, yeah, it seems like a kitchen. Uh, can I open the refrigerator? No, I can't open the refrigerator. Can I open any of these things? No, I can't. Okay, that's um, that's annoying. What is that? Is that just, is that just ketchup? Is there just ketchup laying in the yard? What is, what is this? Oh, uh, am I like following a ketchup trail maybe? Cause whoever used the ketchup last, like left the, the bottle open and was just spilling it everywhere they went. Can we stop to appreciate that Dad here is like a cardio king. Look at him go. He's not slowing down. I could probably do that for 
I don't know, 30 seconds and then want to die. I would I would want to die if I was running at that pace for for longer than 25 seconds. 22 seconds probably. Food. There, there's a place called food. Maybe that's where you get ketchup. Dude, there's there's ketchup everywhere. Can I leave this area? Maybe I just go for the hint? Okay, yeah, sure. Just tell me where the ketchup is. It's upstairs. This is a crazy house too. It's I mean it's kind of it's kind of a cool house, but it's also kind of weird that, you know, it's like a laboratory as well. It's just I don't know. Okay, down the spiral staircase, and then we'll we'll head over to dad's protein shake, I assume, his workout drink. Load that thing up with some some yummy ketchup. <gasps> Yeah, that'll taste like death. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so refreshing. All right, great idea, great plan. He's <laughs> crying. We just brought him to, to straight up tears. That's how much he loves that drink. No wonder he's so angry. I'm a 45 year old uh, single mom. I don't know actually what's happening. What's wrong? What what's wrong, what's kid? Wrong? I got rejected from all universities. Oh no! I blame you. You've been a horrible mom. Bro, I tried my best. I tried my best. I would never be here if you made better decisions in my. Oh life. my gosh! All right, we've been sent 20 years in the past. I guess we just like, we, we wished so hard that we could give it another go so that our kid isn't mad at us because he didn't get accepted into the university that he wanted to. So we get another go at it. Make better choices this time so he can go to the university that he wants to go to. What? Anyways, uh, his name is definitely not John. It's Goober because this kid is a goober. That's this, that's my child's name. He's I'm already great. off to a great start as far as decisions go, naming your kid goober. I love this. It's already giving me the chances of my kid going to Harvard at 27.5%, which is honestly pretty good, I would think. As someone who definitely did not go to Harvard, a 27.5, like a one out of four chance seems incredible. Let's let's try to keep it that way, I guess, so that he doesn't call us a bad mom in 20 years. Hold to run. All right. Don't run too fast, though. All right. We're out for a little stroll. We can change our outfit. <laughs> I love a skeleton. Oh, no, I can't afford. OK, we got to save up for that skeleton dress. That seems awesome. Let's see where this goes. Oh, his knees look all like messed up. What will you give to Goober? A ball. There you go, kid. Oh, you're awful. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna need knee surgery. Your kid really enjoyed throwing the ball at you, which made him more savage and angry. Okay, my kid's a monster. I feel like I'm getting a little gaslighted here. As like being a bad mom. Dude, Goober started life as a monster. Anyways, chucking a ball straight at me. Okay, good. His anger has gone up. That's... Great. Harvard chances have gone down slightly, but, you know, use that anger like Darth Vader or something to become the most powerful Jedi ever or Sith or whatever. All right, let's let's go six months further into the future. Oh, I can afford the skeleton dress now. Let's go. <laughs> OK, what is this? Happy or sad beach day or picnic? Does it I mean, I'm going to say beach day. Have you ever cheated on an exam? Are you asking me or are you like always? I love that the two options are either you always cheat on exams or you never cheat. What if like you cheated on like an exam? That's not an option. I kind of want to say always, but I'm going to say never. Uh, what would be your dream superpower? 1000 IQ. Will your child think that you are cool? I have to watch an ad to reveal it. Let's find out. Cool at times. You will be very cool, but strict whenever needed. That sounds like a pretty fair rating as a parent. I'd take that. Let's go six months in the future. See what happens. Prank? 
prank? I'm pranking some old lady now? Uh, hit her with the banana. This is the best prank ever. Boom. She's dead. <laughs> no, she's fine. She's fine. Everything's fine. Who is this lady? Uh, we're obviously going to jetpack her chair. Uh, cause I got those just laying around. Okay. Why did that just happen? There is no explanation for that level. Just beating up an old lady with like terrible pranks. Cause why not? What is this thing? It's a time machine. What is happening? Oh, okay. The baby's getting older. Well, so am I. Hold to run. Okay, baby is no longer in a stroller. Baby is now on a backpack. Now, typically, you you wear those with the baby facing forward. Not sure why we got the baby facing backwards, but you know, whatever. You're wearing a skeleton dress. Live your best life, mom. Oh, that that's a poop face right there. Oh no. Oh no. He's pooped in his diaper again. Yeah. I'm busy. Can you change it? Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Surprise. Baby's poop in diapers. What is this the first time you've ever changed a poopy diaper? You've had your kid for like a year and a half? Why is she why does she seem so surprised? Also, what the heck is a balloon gonna do in this situation? I have to know. I have to know. What what is the balloon gonna do? I'm I'm putting the, the I'm, Strapping the kid to a balloon. Oh, well. Take some Instagram pictures. Get that in there. That's going viral. You're straight up like Pixar's up. But instead of a house, it's a baby. You made him wear a balloon. This has increased his humor. Your son found it hilarious and extremely fun to be tied by the balloon and fly around. Luckily, he did not get injured. Yeah, I would say so. Gosh, this is... I'd lean into the chaos because uh, things are going to continue getting weird. Look at our, our Harvard chance went up. 28.1%. I'll take it. Are we getting a dog? It seems like we're getting a dog. Yes, I will adopt him. Let him starve. I love how mobile games will literally guilt you into into watching an ad. You're just gonna let this dog starve to death? All you had to do was watch a 30 second ad, but no. Yes, I will watch the ad. Oh my gosh, brutal. Okay, we have a dog now. That's pretty sweet. I'm, I'm happy with that. We're going six more months into the future. I've become the knockoff version of the mom from The Incredibles? Stretch woman? No. Rubber lady. One Google search later. Her superhero name in the movie is Elastigirl, but we're obviously the knockoff version, so I... We're rubber lady. Holding the baby? Oh. Oh, this is grandma. Okay, so I almost murdered grandma. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Did she say 11 generations of Harvard graduates? That's kind of incredible. I'm gonna straight up drop some truth bombs here. That's not in my control. Make sure that Goober gets in. Maybe he doesn't want to go to Harvard. Have you thought about that? Actually, he does, because we went in the future and he like was super mad at us. But this made him strong. The reassurance made your child feel much more relaxed and this led to an increase in his mental strength. But that's physical strength, whatever. Whatever, game. You're weird and completely unpredictable. What is this heart thing? What does this do? I can get some hearts. I already have some hearts because I purchased the VIP version of the game. That's right. I spent real life money on this video game. Mostly so you guys don't have to. Oh gosh, we're okay. Here we go. Let's let's hit grandma with a cake or a pie. I mean, pie is a classic. So we're, we're blasting her with the pie. Something happened to her. She has become a shadow creature. I'm scared. We can go glue or sticky pad. Let's go straight up glue. I feel like that's far more destructive. I have no idea what's happening here. We hit her with a banana last time. Let's change it up with the toy car, obviously. Okay, is she alive? Nobody really knows. Solid pranking there, mom. 
I don't know why those levels exist. They have nothing to do with raising a child, and they have everything to do with just sending a poor old woman to the emergency room. Oh, we're skateboarding? Duo skate? Yes! Let's do it! We got skateboards. This seems unbelievably dangerous. But it did make us go faster, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, our kid's learning to walk. This is an exciting time for Goober. Okay. Yes. Tap hold to walk. Here we go. We're doing it. We did it. The greatest walker ever born. He's going to Harvard. Your baby just had his first steps. You just shared an amazing moment with your child where he had his first steps. This made his legs stronger and also taught him a new skill, making him smarter. That's right. Walking and smartness go hand in hand. And it took this game to teach me that. Shred, mom. Shred. Okay. Okay. Personality test. Have you ever lied about your age? Always. Always lie about your age. Choose your parenting spirit animal, Travis Scott or Kylie Jenner. How about neither? Let's go with Kylie Jenner since she's like a billionaire and can basically provide anything our kids need, at least as far as like monetary needs. Sure. Have you ever prank called someone? Haha, <laughs> yes. Let's see what our kid thinks of that. Boy, you will have a strong and intelligent boy. I thought I already knew the gender of my child. I didn't realize that this was... <sighs> All right. Am I having another child? Is, is that what's happening? Or was I just very confused about my first child? I'm stressed. Growing this child is getting very expensive. Growing this child. I love the way that he describes raising a human being. Like it's a plant. Oh no, how can I help? Should I get a job? How can I help? Oh, let's, no. let's say that. How can I help? <laughs> I think you should also get a job. Okay. Personal assistant or office secretary. Aren't those the same thing? No, I guess like personal assistant means like you, you like follow the person, right? Let's go personal assistant. I feel like that's a, that's a better gig. Okay. I will get you an interview tomorrow itself. Why? Like, why? Weird. Uh, this weird. You decide to support your husband and get a new job. This made your son feel more grateful and motivated to work harder. Great job, mom. Great job. Still a very weird video game. Ooh, I get a new outfit. Why would I ever change this outfit? It's me, rubber lady. No, I'll stay a nerd. It tried to guilt me. It tried to like nerd shame me. How dare you? Hey there, let's start your interview. Oh gosh, what is wrong with your, with your voice? I'd rather not, I need this job. What did, wait, what? What are my plans for the future? Chilling on an exotic beach? Um, lunch. Let's just, let's just be honest. You're hungry. Make the boss laugh, get the job. I'm insane. What about my kid though? I feel like all these things don't really like directly affect my child. At least like a job interview. I mean, I guess getting a job does, but what now? Like we're, we're working out. We're pranking each other. What? <laughs> She's throwing spiders at me. Bro, grandma, grandma be lifted. What is that? Is that like 500 pounds? What are you doing, grandma? Give her some more weight. She's getting jacked. Give her a, a, a ball. <laughs> what? Is this? <laughs> Throw her on a treadmill. She lands right on the treadmill, gets launched into the wall. I, my brain hurts. D does anybody else feel noticeably dumber? How long does a pregnancy actually last? I mean, nine, like technically it's like almost 10 months, but it doesn't give me that option. So we'll go nine months. Which mom has the highest Instagram followers? I don't know. Probably Kylie Jenner. Is that right? That was right. Babies like their mom's voice more than their dad. Um, yeah, probably. That's probably true. Because you got to think, like, when you're a baby, you hear your mom, like, all the time. Because you're growing inside of her. So, like, anytime she talks, that's the voice you hear. Yes, you hear other voices, but they're always accompanied by mom. So, yeah, that, that makes sense. 
I'm so smart! Sort of. Feeding the baby. Gross. He isn't eating. Do something. Give him some chocolate. I love the options. Make food again or force feed him. Don't force feed your child. Nice. He'll never know. He'll never know that wasn't chocolate. Your son felt a bit foolish initially because he was expecting the chocolate. But now he is much smarter and won't fall for your tricks again. And I'm a loving mom. That's right. I, I got this all figured out. I got this whole momming thing on lock. Kinda.